Hi there! Today we're going to talk about digital tools. We will explain what they are with examples and give you a step-by-step -step guide into how to adopt a digital tool into your business. Digital tools refer to a broad range of software, applications, devices, or systems that utilize digital technology to perform various tasks. They can encompass anything from social media platforms to collaborative software like Google Workspace or Microsoft Teams. Content management systems, design tools, complex data analysis tools, or even cloud computing platforms are also considered digital tools that businesses can use. These digital tools leverage the power of technology to facilitate and enhance numerous processes. That includes communication, collaboration, data analysis, design, marketing, customer service, and more. The goal of using these tools is to make the internal processes of a business more efficient, and that helps it deliver an excellent level of product and service delivery to its clients. Now let's go through some of these tools and explore how a business may use them. And the first example is the communication and collaboration tools. Tools like Slack, Zoom, or Microsoft Teams facilitate instant communication and collaboration among team members. That's regardless of their physical location. They allow for real-time messaging, video conferencing, file sharing, and task management, making remote work or collaboration with teams feasible and more efficient. The second example is about project management tools. Tools such as Trello, Asana, or Jira allow businesses to track and manage projects efficiently. These tools provide platforms for assigning tasks, tracking progress, managing timelines, and organizing resources, and that improves the overall project efficiency and transparency as well. Example number three is customer relationship management tools. Digital tools like Salesforce, Zoho, or HubSpot help businesses manage their relationships with customers and potential customers too. These tools can track customer interactions, manage customer data, facilitate targeted marketing efforts, and improve the overall customer service provided. Number four is data analysis and business intelligence tools. Tools like Tableau, Power BI, and Google Analytics provide businesses with the ability to collect, analyze, and visualize data. This helps businesses understand market trends, customer behavior, and operational efficiency, and that helps them or enables them to make informed decisions. Number five is marketing and sales tools. Digital tools can also enhance marketing and sales efforts. For example, email marketing tools like MailChimp or CRM systems can enable targeted customer outreach. On the other hand, social media management tools like Buffer or Hootsuite can help you manage and optimize your social media presence. Number six is productivity and efficiency tools. Digital tools can automate routine tasks and improve productivity for your team. For instance, tools like Zapier can automate tasks across various applications. There's also also document management tools like Google Docs or Dropbox that can streamline document creation, sharing, and storage. Number seven is design and creativity tools. Tools like Adobe Creative Cloud provide a suite of software for graphic design, video editing, web development, photography, and more. And that allows businesses to create high quality digital content. Number eight is e-commerce. Tools like Shopify, WooCommerce, or Amazon Web Services can help businesses sell products online, manage their inventory, and handle payments. Number nine is cybersecurity tools. Now, as businesses increasingly digitize, the importance of cybersecurity tools grow. Digital tools such as antivirus software firewalls, encryption tools, and password managers too help businesses protect their digital assets. Integrating digital tools into a business is a long process that requires careful planning and implementation because you need to make sure that you're investing in tools that will have a positive return on investment and impact on your business. So here's a step-by-step -step plan to guide you through that process. Number one, define your goals and objectives. Before you start considering specific digital tools, it's crucial to understand what your goals are. Are you looking to improve communication within your team? Or do you need better data analysis? Or perhaps you want to streamline your sales process? 
Once you have clear objectives, you can start to identify which types of digital tools can help you achieve them. Step number two is to assess your current situation. Take a good look at your current business processes, your technology infrastructure, and your team skill set. Understanding your starting point will help you identify your specific needs and any potential challenges that you may face during that transition. Step number three is to research and identify potential tools. Tools. Start exploring different tools that align with your objectives. Now, this might include project management tools, communication platforms, CRM systems, data analysis software, and many other options. Do your research at this point and look at product reviews and case studies to understand each tool's strengths and weaknesses. Step number four is to evaluate and prioritize. After identifying potential tools, evaluate them against your business needs, your budget, and your team capabilities. Consider factors such as ease of use, integration with existing systems, scalability for the future, security, and cost. Prioritize the tools that offer the most value to your own business. Step number five is to run pilot tests. Now, before fully integrating a tool into your business, consider running a pilot test. Implement the tool with a small team or on a small project first to see how it works and identify potential issues before rolling it out company-wide. Step number six is to plan your implementation. Now, once you've decided on a tool, plan your implementation carefully. Consider when and how the tool will be rolled out, who will be responsible for managing it, and what kind of training will be necessary. Also, think about any data migration needs if the tool is replacing an existing system. And the last step is to train your team. Proper training is key to successful adoption. Now make sure your team understands why the tool is being implemented, how to use it, and who they can go to with questions. This might involve bringing in a trainer from the tool provider or creating a series of training sessions or even having a dedicated team member for ongoing support. After that, you will need to monitor the performance of the tool and collect feedback on its impact. Once you've successfully implemented and evaluated one tool, you can start to think about what other areas of your business could benefit from digital tools. This process of continual improvement and expansion can help your business stay competitive and efficient. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. We hope that you now have a better understanding of digital tools. But if you have any further questions, we're happy to help you. Just drop us a comment and we'll get back to you.